So let's look at what you're going to be doing today. Again, the lecture videos will be posted here. You'll want to be sure to read this information. Down here under assignments, you have a discussion board, tips for beginner users of AutoCAD. You are to find a tip for beginners when starting to use AutoCAD. You can find this in your book. You can look it up on the internet, however you want to do it. You must list the tip and describe the steps to do the tip. You are then to read two other students' tips and respond to them. You will get 10 points for your original post and five points each for responding to two other students. I'm gonna skip the drawing assignment and we will come back to that. You also have review questions over chapter three. Again, there are 22 points here. You have three attempts to take it. So again, I think I explained that in the first video, how the quizzes work or the review questions work. Just make sure that you get them completed. Now let's look at your drawing with AutoCAD, layers and motorcycle gasket. So you're going to create another subfolder in your OneDrive called 04-Layers and Motorcycle Gasket. You're going to open AutoCAD 2020. You're going to open a new file. You're going to use the template ACAD. You're going to set the units to decimal and set the precision to 0.00. .00. You're going to save the file with the file name layers and motorcycle gasket uh, underscore your initials dot dwg in the subfolder you created above. Draw the motorcycle head gasket as shown in the drawing and using the appropriate layers and using the information provided in the drawing. There may be dimensions missing from the drawing. Do your best with what you are given. If a dimension isn't given and you draw it, you will not lose points. Just try to get it as close as possible. I do this to make you have to think. In a real world situation, if a dimension was missing, you would not guess, you would go and ask. But in our case, I want you to get it just as close as you can on your own. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna create these particular layers. You're gonna create one, two, three, four, five, six layers, six different colors, and I put in the color number and not the actual color name the line type that goes with each one, and the description. You must fill in the description to get all of the points. You may not use all of these layers. We haven't learned about hats yet, we haven't learned how to do notes yet, and we haven't learned about dimensions yet. So you're probably only going to use these three layers, but you need to create all of them. Be sure to include center marks by using the center mark command under the annotate tab. I showed you where that was at, so make sure you put your center marks in. After you have completed the drawing, zoom extends by typing Z enter E enter in the command line, and then save your drawing. So let's look at the motorcycle gasket. The first thing that I want to point out to you is that it is symmetrical meaning both sides of the half are exactly the same. So there is no reason to draw everything twice. So what you want to do is you want to make a pretend line through the middle and only draw the left or the right hand side. The other thing you're gonna notice is the dimensions are done a little bit differently here. Here on the top, they basically work from here to here here to here, here to here. On the bottom, they come up each one. So they're not what we call baseline or chain dimensions. The other thing you'll notice is that when we have a hole, we have a diameter and it has a diameter symbol in the note. If it is a radius, it's going to be an inside or an outside corner and it's going to have an R in it. So make sure that you are making sure that you are using diameter and radius in the correct ways. When you get ready to do these guys here, basically what you're going to do is you're gonna draw a circle at the center point with the right radius, and then you're gonna draw another circle with the right radius at this location. You're gonna have two circles here, once you do that, you're gonna use your tangent to connect those two circles. 
So you don't want to try to draw this with your arcs. That will be way too hard to do. The other thing that we don't have is we don't have the overall distance from here to here. So again, this is going to be kind of a guesstimate on where that point is. You have a hidden line around the center. Make sure you put all the center points in. There are some missing down here. So make sure even if it's not on the drawing, you are still responsible for going through when you are done and making sure you have all of your center points. If you have any questions, be sure to get in touch with me and I will help you with anything that you're struggling with. In the next lesson, we will start learning about arrays, which are part of the draw tools that we did not cover the other day. Arrays are a very helpful and useful tool in AutoCAD.